Welcome once more to today's lesson. Today I'll teach you how to create relationships between tables in Access database. And uh, from where we reached last time, we created these two uh, tables that is visitors table and the rights table. To create a relationship, we need to create an additional table. So I'll move on to create it. It's, it's shown on uh, page 313. So I'll create table and I need to name it first which is a ticket table tickets then to open it in the design view so that I can put the fields so we have ticket ID next we have ride ID then I have visitor ID. Then we have ride date, ride date. Then we can put the uh, data type. At this point, we are not trying to put the data type. So we shall proceed like that without specifying the types. But here we can put the description, which is optional, but it is good you put it. We say this the primary key is a primary key in this table. This is the foreign key. This is also the foreign key. Then if I may ask, what's a foreign key? A foreign key in a database is a primary key from one table that is used in another table. A primary key in a database is a primary key from another table that is used in another table or simply a primary key in another table. Next we have, we have the date the date on which ticket for the ride is valid so we are through we need to save this table and we close it now we are through with the creating the table that will now enable us to create uh, to create the relationships. From the question given, we are going to open the tickets table in design view. So I'll open my table in design view like this. Then from here we are going to uh, step number three, set the data type to number for both visitor ID and ride ID. So set here to number, even this one to number. Then uh, step number four, set the data type to date stock time for ride date. We set this one to date stock time. Set the format property for ride date to short date. So we shall set it here to ride date. Sorry, to short date there. Then set the default value property for ride date to now. This is a default value. We write equals now. And this sets the attribute for this field to the current day's time. Meaning that the day that you acquire the ticket, the ticket will come with that, that day's date. Next, save the tickets table. We shall save the tickets table. We go on to number seven. As I said before, the protocols are testing you to be able to follow instructions keenly. That is why I'm reading instructions that they are given 
and executing them one by one. So we move to the next one. We are trying to close the tables here before we do the relationships. We close the table. It is very important and it is very important to, to close all the tables before you, you do the relationships or before you can change their relationship with the other tables. Otherwise, it may not work. So close the tickets table, open the relationships, add tables. Once you go there, we add tables, so you just highlight them. You add them once, you click add. Then your three tables will appear there, then you close the show table. Drunk write ID. That is uh, step number 12. Drunk write ID field from rights table on to write ID field in the tickets table. So we do it now. Bring it there and release it. The add relationship window will appear. Check that the Check, check that the enforce referential integrity box is selected. So we select it here. Referential integrity is the state of a database when any foreign key field in a table reverse to a primary key in a related table. So we have to, yeah. why do we do it? Because we are using a foreign key. That is a primary key from another table that is write ID and the visitor's ID. Then we click, we click on create. Then we have now established a relationship here, which is one to many. One to many because here is where we have one. Then this side we have infinity. Infinity here means more than one. So it is one to many. Then next, step number 15. Drunk visitor ID from visitors table to... Uh, from the visitors table onto Vista ID field in the tickets table. So you shall bring it here at this point, you release it there. In case it's not visitor and the visitor, you check there. If they are different, know that you have made an error, just cross it here and do it again. From there, we enforce integrity and we create. Now we have a new relationship here, which is many to one, which is many to one. Then you click on uh, save the relationships design window. That is step number 18. Open the tickets table. Yes, you go to open the tickets table there. Open the tickets table and enter 9 in the visitor ID. I have added 9 there. Field and 7 in the right ID and 7 in the right ID. Then try to enter. You get an error message. This message indicates that we are right. We have done things in the right way. Then you need to read that error message. You cannot add or change a record because a related record is required in the table. Right. So this should not make you freeze. You should just check that. You need to read that message. Then Every time error messages tells you what you have not done right and what you should do right. So we need not to make sure. So do show that there is no seven in the right ID. As you remember, right IDs were one up to five. So we need to enter a value which is found in right ID. So we click OK. Then we are going to change to five and see what will happen. Five. Then you try to enter, then it's accepting, meaning that the 5 is found in the right IDs. The same way Vista ID is 9. Uh, previously, we set uh, Vista's ID from 1 to 10. So if I put 11 here, it will still not work. It should be only 1 to 10, and right ID is 1 to 5. Enter for more records. We say this entry is accepted. This entry should be accepted because it is, it is in that range. Enter for more records in the table tickets. So enter for more records. So now we are guided by uh, by the fact that they should be one to five. This I put eight, another eight there. 
and I'll put three then here I'll put another eight I have interest with eight we shall see it later as you move on yeah I put one I decided to use all the right IDs one to five and that is the end of our end of our relationships we have now successfully created the relationships thank you thank you for watching if it's your first time here ensure you subscribe so that you can